Hey and welcome to another WordPress tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create the hotspots with the help of a Jettricks plugin. These hotspots can be triggered either by hovering over or by clicking. Now let's go ahead to our Elementor editor and start creating the hotspots from scratch. So the first thing you need to do here in the Elementor editor is to go to Elements and scroll all the way down until you see the Jet Elements section, which is a part of Jet Tricks plugin. As you can guess, we're going to need the Hotspots widget. Just drag it on a new section. Choose an image that you want to be a base for your Hotspot. Here we go. And here you can see the Hotspot that is created by default. Let's go to the Hotspots menu and when you press Item 1, you're going to see all the settings for this specific Hotspot. You can choose an icon, but I'm going to go with no icon, but some text that's going to say hotspot. And in this text area, you can specify what text is going to appear on a tooltip like that. Now you can see a tooltip or you can add a link to your hotspot. So when you click on it, it's going to take you to the page that you want. Here you can specify what animation is going to be applied to your hotspot. There is a wide choice of different animations, so play around with them and choose the one you like. I don't really like the fact that this hotspot is positioned right at the center, and I would like to tweak its position. What I can do is to go to the position settings and move these slides to find the position that I like. Okay, I think it works. And under the tooltip settings, you can specify from what side the tooltip is going to appear. Choose whether you want to use an arrow or you want to go with no arrow, like that. You can choose the type and size of an arrow. You can choose a trigger, which is going to be either a mouse enter, which means just hovering over the hotspot, or a mouse click. The show duration is going to specify how fast your tooltip is going to appear after you trigger your hotspot. So you see, it got really, really slow. But if I move it down, it's going to appear like super fast. The same works for the high duration as well. If you want your tooltip to appear with a delay, just move the slider up. And here you can specify the distance between the hotspot and the tooltip. And here you can choose the animation with which this tooltip is going to appear. Alright, here you go. Now let's go and style our button and the tooltip. If you want, you can actually make it totally round if you have an icon and if you increase the border radius, your hotspot is going to be totally round. The typography... Okay, I'm going to go with white text, but I want to change the color of the button. Alright, here we go. And when I hover over this button, I want it to become a different color. Like that. Let's check this out. All right, it works. And under the tooltip settings, you can specify the width of your tooltip. If you've got a lot of text, you want the tooltip to be wider, obviously. You can tweak the typography settings, the text color, but what I want to do is to make the background white, like that. But our text is also white. So let's just make it. But now, as you see, the arrow is still black. So now let's go and change the arrow color as well. And here we go. 
let's update our page and have a look at it on the front end. Here is our image, here is a hotspot, and let's hover over and see our tooltip. Works perfectly. Looks very modern and fresh. So, now you know how to create hotspots with the help of a JetTricks plugin. If you liked the video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.